Nanya and Toti. And the information we have on the sardine today is just as good as everybody else's. We all don't know. Uh, the only thing we can do is sit and wait. The sea is massive, swell about three to three and a half meters, and it's pushing from the southerly to the northerly direction very, very strong. The water is discolored inshore, so it makes it very difficult to see the southerly. I'm sitting here with Gulam, and we both probably going to have breakfast today. Uh, the legend of the sea, the legend of the sardine, uh, Mr. Gulam, also family. Uh, he's got more sardine than anyone in this country, or even in the world. <laughs> Uh, except for the trawlers. Talking about trawlers, uh, we can see a vessel out there, out of Toti. Lots of people are saying that is a uh, trawler, a Chinese trawler. No guys, that is a vessel from Italy. It is here to lay the fiber optic cable uh, that runs out uh, from the international waters, 200 nautical miles. The cable will be landed at Pipeline Beach and that will feed the entire of South Africa. Uh, obviously bring up the speed for your fiber. From what I was told from the guys that are laying the cable, one strand of the cable will carry about a thousand lines. So that's a lot, a lot, a lot of cable coming through. Uh, that job should be completed in the early parts of next week and the vessel will move on. So that is not a Chinese trawler. So guys, your sardine is safe until we get our hands on it. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's nothing much happening today. Uh, the sea does settle down towards the afternoon and then hopefully uh, we should see some sightings of sardines and get a chance to net. But the weekend conditions are looking great. Gulam, anything from you? Uh, all I can say is be patient. You heard it from the man himself, just be patient. We will find them and we will uh, get them. Yeah, you just watch up in it.